Hello Virgo and thank you for joining me for your messages for August 1st to 31st 2021. Let's see what messages pop out for Virgo for August 1st to 31st 2021. Virgo August 1st to 31st we have three of wands the moon Virgo August 1st, 31st, we have the Seven of Cups, Virgo, we have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Coins, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, Princess of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups. The first thing I noticed right away is ten, ten, ten. You have three tens. Interesting. Interesting energy. Okay. First card is the Three of Wands. It's yellow, which is solar plexus chakra, vitality, power, self confidence, deals with willpower, is blocked by shame. So it looks like she is, this figure is standing. Sort of, not even on the shore. She's partially like submerged into this waterfall. Um, so wands generally stand for fire or inspirational type of energy. Um, but in this particular card, it seems to be, oh, I also see a heart there. So there might be a love relationship between a water sign and a fire sign. Um that is also connected to this idea. Um, so it looks like these gems are citrines or maybe um, yeah, amber, amber or citrines. Look at both of those. There will be additional messages for you there after this video. So you're standing there, this figure is standing there waiting for her ship to come in or it's like she's staring off into the ocean like waiting for her ship to come in or like the, the results of her expedition to like bear fruit. So you may have been uh, doing some of your own research and development in, in your own time for a passion project, a, a, a project that um, you believe in, one that you've really taken a hold of, um, and she has her, she's wearing her hair is like a crown braid so you may wear your hair in a braid or have long enough hair that you could wear it in a braid she also has those orange like leaves or like flower type things in her hair and to me that signifies it's like autumn time so you may your ship may come in around autumn ship that she's waiting for and then we have the moon which is six third eye indigo brow chakra intuition understanding deals with insight is blocked by illusion so the moon generally deals with things that have been hidden from view. Um, 
Or there may have been things that have been hidden that are now, you're now starting to see clearly um, with the moon card. So these two uh, spirit guide animals are either like um, dogs or like uh, wolves. So you may have your, you may feel that your spirit animal is the wolf. Um, for this particular month, make sure to look up the wolf. Though there will be additional messages there for you for this month. Um, also, it looks like she's. It looks like her feet or this path is being lit by the moon. So like even though it's dark or it may seem like you don't know everything or you don't have all the answers at this point, like don't fear the, what you can't see or what's in the darkness, I guess, is what the moon card is trying to tell you. Like because your feet are being guided anyways, like so you don't need to worry about the parts that you can't see. You just need to follow the path that's being lighted for you. Okay, so we have seventh crown chakra, violet top of head, peace oneness deals with cosmic energy is blocked by ego attachment. So this female figure who it's an incongruent card, really, because it looks like she's dressed for a ball and has, like, this fancy necklace on, but she's, like, laying on the beach. So you may feel there's some incongruency in your um, <clears throat> emotional life, especially because cups deal with emotions. This could also represent a feminine a water sign. A Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You may feel like your energy is rather low or depleted um, at this time. Or you just may feel like kind of <coughs> bored or kind of like nothing really, you know. It's like, look at the look on her face. It's like she doesn't. It's like even though she has all those cups in front of her, she doesn't look like happy or like impressed by like any of them really. Okay, and then we have a t the Ten of Wands, which is yellow, third solar plexus, vitality, power, self confidence, deals with willpower, is blocked by shame. So this is a very self-confident energy. Um, very much this woman or feminine energy is very much in her element of this. So it looks like the yellow, it's a yellow gem. Or an orangish yellow gem, like a citrine. Make sure to look up citrine after this video. Um, she also has like sunflower type flowers in her hair. So even though sunflowers take a long time to grow, they they're beautiful and they also produce an edible fruit. So whatever your ideas have that you that have been growing or blooming in your life, they're going to bear fruit with the sunflower. Also, she's in a forest or a forested type area and the season around her is autumn. So there I can see the yellow or the orange um, leaves on the trees. So the trees are changing color in the harvest season so this this is your season august is going to be the beginning of the season of your harvest of this one larger idea but you also have these other nine other ideas that also are will produce uh 
money or like inspiration uh, for you. Then you have the Ten of Coins. Look at all the treasure in that card. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so we have it's yellow, third solar plexus chakra, vitality, power, self confidence, deals with willpower, is blocked by shame. So it looks like so the Ten of Coins traditionally is the Ten of Pentacles, which is like happy house, marriage, family, security you know, uh, financial security. In this particular card, it's more represented by just monetary um, treasure here. Like, you can see all the pearls and, like, gold chains and, like, there's a gold, a giant gold belt, it looks like. And, like, in the background, there's an easel with, like, an art, with, like, a painting on it of like a family, like a happy family, like a woman and a man and like two children. So this is the ultimate success, happy home, you know, fulfillment. Basically, you, you're, you're hitting the jackpot. You're hitting the jackpot with this card. Like in the financial material realm. Boom. It's a lot of powerful energy coming off those two tents. Okay. We have the Ace of Swords. Which is first root chakra red, located at the base of spine, physical needs, passion, anger, deals with survival, is blocked by fear. So this feminine energy is this these swords are represented by mental energy or uh, mental agility or words communication. Um, so this figure is look how confidently she's wielding that sword. Like she knows exactly who she is. She knows the power it takes to wield that sword. She knows why she's doing it. She knows how to cut through any kind of nonsense that people might try to throw at her. It's like even though she's like standing in the water, the water is like red and it's like one is like becoming like one or part, it's part, like part of her dress. So it's like she's, even though you may be standing in some sort of a emotional situation you're going to know you're going to be able to cut through all of it just by the power of look at the spiritual power emanating from that sword like this is also like a new beginning a new mental beginning so like maybe like a new career or a new business new idea that kind of takes off And then we have the King of Swords, which is seventh crown chakra, violet, located at the top of the head. Peace oneness deals with cosmic energy. It's blocked by ego attachment. So it looks like there's a heart at the top of his um, throne there. So there, this may be somebody that you are romantically interested in, somebody who's romantically interested in you. Uh, this could be an air, an actual air sign, like a masculine type air sign of energy. This person has two loyal companions, two other people that assist this person and are loyal to this person. 
Um, this could be a partner or a boss or somebody else connected to your career. This person may have two other people who are loyal to them or this may be the embodiment of your energy and you may have two people that are loyal to you. And we have the Princess of Cups, fourth heart chakra green, love, peace, compassion, deals with love, is blocked by grief. So the first thing I noticed in this card is these big giant butterflies on her dress. So um, you may be going through some sort of a metamorphosis, um, having to deal with your emotions or your emotional relationships. Also, she has green roses in her hair. Green roses. So you may have seen green roses. Um, in a dream or something like that. Also this shadow figure in the background kind of looks like a leopard or some sort of jungle cat. Um, so you may be embodying that spirit of the jungle cat at this time, like a leopard or like a cheetah, some sort of uh, hunter cat. Also, it looks like she is in the mountains. So you may enjoy uh, going on vacations to remote locations, or you may enjoy vacationing in the mountains. Or just going for walks in, or like hikes in like a mountainous terrain. Okay, and... We have the lovers, seventh crown chakra, violet, located at the top of the head. Peace, oneness, deals with cosmic energy, is blocked by ego attachment. Um, so, what's jumping out at me is this, like, ghost-like figure, so you may be feel haunted by maybe a previous uh, relationship or you may feel that you need to make a choice um, in love but there's some sort of uh, this specter sort of like hanging about that choice or it seems to be like captured in a port portrait like it's a moment in time like this is a moment in time with you and a loved one so you may be thinking of fond memories of past loved ones or people who have actually passed on So then we have the Ten of Cups. So it's yellow, third solar plexus chakra, vitality, power, self confidence, deals with will, power is blocked by shame. So this is. So look at the two little children and all the butterflies in her hair. So this is the card of like 
contentment, happy home, happy family, uh, um, basically having all of the good things in life, right? The cups represent emotional fulfillment, happy family. You know, good, good loving relationship with someone that you trust. Um, basically, like, having it all. Abundance. It's like the sun is, like, shining. The card, the whole card is yellow. It's like, it has that sunny summertime vibe energy to it so if you don't have a romantic partner right now you may be meeting someone special that is going to be willing to make a commitment to you look at these two cards in both cards it's like you see the similar theme there of the couple the man and the woman and the man and the woman there. So you may be meeting a significant other or a, a counterpart who's going to have a significant impact on your life. Okay, let's see what other messages pop out for Virgo. For August 1st to 31st. Okay, so we have healing, discernment, perception, universal love. <clears throat> Messages for Virgo for August 1st. And delight, compassion. Romantic love, alchemy, and miracle. I am going to read them all to you. We'll just move those over for a minute um, because they all came out. Okay, so here we go. We have number 29 healing. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Number 20, discernment. Frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom. We have number 35, perception. The frequency of perception supports our natural curiosity moving us beyond our comfort zone to find the edges of what we perceive as real to take a good, hard, deep look at it. Number 44, Universal Love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence itself. Number 19, Delight. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. Number 15, Compassion. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator 
between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart into the world. Number 39, romantic love. Frequency of romantic love supports our journey to feel whole and complete through the experience and reflection of a conscious lover. Number 8, alchemy. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. And we have number 33, miracle. The frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. So those are your messages Virgo. If you liked this reading please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Turn on notifications for your device so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share this video to your social media and thank you so very much for watching and you have a wonderful day.